Hey everybody, I want to take some time out today to uh, talk about how to effectively work from home now that companies across the world are asking their employees to switch to working remotely. To be able to effectively work, you need to be able to dedicate a room in your house for your office. Now, that may not be practical for everybody to get entire, dedicate an entire room to yourself or uh, to the office. So just make sure that you've got a space dedicated for this where you can put your desk and your chair i'm going to get to the hardware in a bit but that has to be the space where you sit and work every day now it cannot be the bed it cannot be a couch it cannot be in front of your tv which is running and now we're running game of thrones or something and you think you can do this now unless you can count money and be able to converse with someone you cannot watch tv and work from home right so no bed no couch no tv a proper dedicated space for you to work on. Some of the things that are absolutely needed, a must have, right, to work from home. You need a nice little chair. Now, you don't want to take any you know, dining chairs and move it around and use those. You need a proper computer chair that is going to be economic. I'm going to show around what my chair looks like. You don't need to go like all bonkers on it. A little bit of money is required. Don't go for the cheap ones. Don't go for the very expensive ones. A proper a nice little ergonomic chair which moves around smoothly, has got a nice little back support and is comfortable is what you need. The next is you need a desk. Now, you need a proper computer desk uh, that is firm. Now, all of those computer, cheap computer desks that you find in stores are made of compressed, you know, powdered wood. Now, the problem with them is as you type, they start becoming loose and they start shaking in a few months. So that's not, that's not good. You need a firm, sturdy table to put your laptop and your system on so that it doesn't shake while you type. Next, after your chair and your desk, one thing that I always find the immense productivity improvement with is a monitor. Now, you may need one or more monitors. You may have a laptop that has a fancy 14, 15 or 17 inch monitor, but it's not enough. Now, I've seen people slouch over a 10 inch screen on a small keyboard. That's not gonna do well for you in the long run. Right? You don't want to spoil your health, you don't want to give yourself neck pain or a lower back pain or any of those pains for this work. You need to be able to do this for the long run. So get yourself a decent 26 or 27 or 29 inch monitor and put it right in front of your eye level. Right? It's very important. Next, you want to make sure that you know you have power backup. Now, if you're living in an apartment like me, now the apartments and other buildings have their own kind of power backup, which is not uninterrupted power supply, but it kicks in whenever there's a power outage. And with the summer coming in, many cities will face two to four hours of power outage sometimes, maybe six hours of times, right? So you need some kind of a power backup uh, and an uninterrupted power supply for you know being able to work from home effectively. Now, if it's a few minutes of a downtime, it may not be a big deal, but if you're on a conference call and you've got some clients on the other side, some stakeholders on the other side, or even just your team, or you manage, you don't want to be disconnected. A slight blip in the power and your router re restarts. And when your router restarts, it takes a couple of minutes to boot back up. So you, your team is not aware what happened. They continue to talk. They don't even probably don't know that you've dropped off. So you don't want that to happen. The next most important thing, right? Kind of not the next most important thing. This is what makes work from home even possible. Internet, right? I mean, we would be thinking about uh, working from home, working remotely, if it wasn't for the internet. So don't go stingy on those internet plans, get a good internet connection, get a fiber broadband, whatever is possible, get at least 25 megabytes per second and you know maybe 250 gigabytes of bandwidth every month or, or more if possible. The next thing that most people don't understand is the router. Now the router is what plays a crucial role on the speed of your device being able to connect to your internet. Now, there's no point in having a 100 megabytes per second connection, but the router is all the way across the house. You need your router to be powerful and as close as to the workspace that you've created in your house. It is worth it and it is required. So now I'm gonna cover some of the optionals uh, of, of these things. So you can live without those, but these are strongly recommended by me. Now, what are those? Whiteboard, the stuff that you see right behind me. Now, you don't need a fancy whiteboard. You don't need the whole wall covered with it. And the one I'm using is a stick on, like it's, it's a roll on sticker. It's just it's a sticker that comes in a tube. I just unwrapped it, stuck it onto the wall. That was great. And it was pretty economical too. You can get any size of any, these, this one, the stick on ones, or you could get a, a standing one. 
I'm one of those guys who loves to write on a whiteboard. It's my note taking and brainstorming tool. So if your if if your work doesn't involve doing a lot of whiteboarding, this is optional. But it still helps if you have one about. The next thing to talk about is lighting in your office room. Now, lighting is important so that you don't strain your eye looking at the monitor for long hours. And it's also important if you're working from home and are going to get on conference calls. I strongly recommend that you turn on your camera so that you can interact visually with your teammates and the teammates can see you as well. So to be able to turn your camera on, you need to make sure that you're presentable for the camera and also that the other side can see you so that there's no glaring light behind you. Right? You usually put your tube light or you put a bulb behind you and the camera picks up a lot of that glare. And you also don't want light right in front of you that can cause an eye strain on your eyes. So you want to put the light right where it doesn't come in the camera but it's not also directly into your eyes. So make sure you put some effort or find some of those LED lights that's on the side, gets light, enough light on your face, but not is not going directly into your eyes. The next recommendation is to buy a decent pair of wireless headsets. Now these I recommend are the ones that go around their ear that have a soft cushion cupping on them so that it doesn't hurt your ear over long periods of wear. Now when I say long periods of wear, I'm, I'm talking of four hours or six hours of wear in a day. So that is gonna hurt your ears. If you're wearing something that goes in your ear, it cause, can cause fungal infections and bacterial growth. If you're wearing something that sits on top of your ear, it hurts your ear after some time because there's gonna be a spring action on it, all the pressures on your ear, and you, you're gonna hurt afterwards. So you get something that has a lot of cushion, uh, goes around the ear, and the advantage of that is that it gives you sound isolation. Now, people go all fancy in headphones and try to buy noise canceling headphones. I don't recommend them, great if you have one or you want one, but noise cancelling headphones don't cancel out human noises, talking noises or other noises. They cancel out regular noise like machines and airplanes, uh, but they don't cancel out like speech. Uh, so that's not really effective if, if that's what you're trying to avoid. A simple uh, cushion that isolates noise, not sound, not noise isolating headphones is more than enough. But make sure you wait for a few hours and make sure it's comfortable. And finally, I wanted to show you my office setup that I've been talking about in all these other videos and see if you can get inspired by any of the things that I've got. All right, so I've got this uh, computer chair that was pretty decent. It's not one of those cheap 3,000 rupees, 4,000 rupees chair. It's from uh, Danro, uh, which is a franchisee around here. And it's pretty good. I would vouch for it. Uh, cost me, I think, about 10,000 rupees. I've got a firm desk, but this has been part of our home furniture, so I'm just using it. Uh, it's not really a computer desk, it's an office desk, but it's firm and sturdy, so that's good. I've got my keyboard and mouse. Uh, I'm, you know, an Amazon Basics mouse, which is ergonomic, and it's got like a lot of the couple of the functions, which is pretty neat. I've got my monitor, and I'm kind of a makeshift stand to rise this, uh, this height of this, so it's in my eye level. Uh, a, a backup UPS, which is, just lasts for about a few five to ten minutes until our, you know, power generator backup kicks in, so that it makes that router over here not switch off whenever the power goes in, goes out uh, got my headphones got my earbuds also works but like i said you know, a short battery backup uh, makes it uh, makes it difficult to use for long times got also my boosted board which uh, was kind of a tip tip from uh, one of my geek buddies uh, geek ex colleagues uh, navin Srinivas, and who talked about standing and working during his workouts so what i do is uh, he said that standing for too long is also not a good idea because it locks your knees up. So I get on top of this and it makes it's made of bamboo so it, it's got the flex in it. Doesn't help, uh, helps not get my knees locked in. Uh, got a kind of a bean bag over here so I can just sit back and relax uh, if I'm taking a break and have a coffee or a tea. Have some snacks here that I can munch on. Like I said, entertainment with a couple of instruments. Um, this little electronic drum kit, it's a basic beginner kit. I'm no major, I'm not a great musician or anything. Uh, this is inspired by my buddy in Virginia, Brian Hayes, uh, who has his own band now uh, called Artusha. So they're coming up with a lot of neat little music now. So you should probably check them out. This is my whiteboard I talked about and the lighting. So got a special light over here so that the light is on my face uh, when I'm on calls, but not too, you know, not too direct. It's a kind of a diffusing light uh, that it can get off of any any light shock. And 
that's about it for my office setup if you have any other pro tips for uh, working from home what you've done to make it make it more effective and productive uh, please put it in the comments section if you have any questions i'm more than happy to answer thank you